Hey what is up YouTube and welcome to my Prank It deck profile for the March 2022 format. If you guys want to see more deck profiles, please subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below what decks you guys would like to see next. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. First I play 3 copies of all of the main deck Prank It's monsters. So Triple Pansies, Triple Dropsies, Triple Lampsies and Triple Roxies. All of these guys have the exact same effect. If you use them for a fusion or a link summon of a Prank It's monster, they can special summon another Prank It's monster from hand or deck and then each of them has a bonus effect. Pansies foolish burials a prank its card to the graveyard. Dropsies gives you a thousand life points. Lampsies burns the opponent for 500 points. And with Roxies you get to fix your hand by banishing a card from your hand and drawing one card. If you open any one of these you can pretty much do the entire combo. But if you open two of them you get to do the entire combo plus play around the Biru. So that's why it's necessary to play three of all of them. Then I play three copies of Parallel XC. If you open any prank it plus this you get the entire combo plus Dweller. And you can also chain block your prank it with this card to ensure they resolve. Prankids are basically a one card engine which allows them to play a lot of hand traps. I play Triple Ash, Triple Veiler, Double Ghost Ogre and Triple Imperm. In these slots you can pretty much play whatever hand traps you want and whatever hand traps you think would be the best for your format. In this format I think it's especially important to play a lot of hand traps to maximize your chance of opening two of them because almost every single deck is playing the adventure engine so you need a hand trap to stop that and then another hand trap to stop their combos and I thought these ones were the best to main deck this format. That is it for the monsters and for the spells I play triple prank its place and want terraforming to search it. When this card is activated you can add any prank its monster from deck to hand. When you summon a fusion prank its monster it boosts all your monsters by 500 attack and when you summon a prank its link monster all monsters your opponent controls lose 500 attack. Then I play triple pandemonium. This is basically just a searchable quick play polymerization. This card helps you summon battle butler on the opponent's turn which is basically a quick play raigeki. Then I play one prank its pranks. This card is very important but I don't think you need to play more than one because it's highly searchable and I don't play desires in the deck. Once per turn you can discard a Prankets card and summon a Prankets token and during the end phase you can shuffle 3 Prankets cards from the graveyard back into the deck and draw a card. So this card is very good for recycling your resources. Then I also play Double Polymerization. This card helps you play through hand traps and it helps you make your rocket ride on the first turn. One Instant Fusion. This card is basically a double monster reborn in the deck because you can summon rocket ride and it can tribute itself to special summon 2 Prankets monsters from the graveyard and then the power 1 ups. One called by the grave to stop hand traps, one one for one to summon your fancies, and one monster reborn because it's a good extender and it helps if they hand trap your first rank it. That is it for the main deck and for the extra deck I play one Meow Meow Moo. This card's absolutely crazy even if it had no effect because it allows you to just normal summon a prank monster and then link it off and then the prank monster will special summon another one from the deck. You pretty much start every single combo with this card and this card also has a really nice effect. On the opponent's turn if you would tribute a prank monster to activate an effect you can just banish this card from the graveyard instead. Next triple doodle doodle doo. When this card is summoned you can add any prank it spell or trap from your deck to your hand. If you don't have pandemonium yet you always search it with this card and also you can tribute these cards to add two prank it cards from the graveyard back to your hand. Then one bow wow bark. This card you can only tribute on the opponent's turn to add two prank it cards from the graveyard back to your hand and also for the rest of that turn your prank it monsters can be destroyed by card effects. And then I just play some good generic link monsters. One nightmare phoenix, one nightmare unicorn and one access code talker. These cards are great going second they help you get rid of problematic cards and OTK. And also all three of the prank kids link monsters have different attributes which is very good for access code talker. Then for the fusion monsters I play one rocket ride, one weather washer and one battle butler. All three of these are very important especially the rocket ride and battle butler. You can tribute rocket ride to special summon two prank kids monsters from the graveyard back to the field. With weather washer you can do the exact same thing but only on the opponent's turn and those prank kids monsters that you bring back can't be destroyed by battle that turn. Battle butler has a really good quick effect where you can contribute it to regeki the opponent's board. This card is your main interruption, you want to end on a way to summon this on the opponent's turn every single time and if this card is destroyed it's also a monster reborn. That's it for the fusion monsters and then for the XCs I play one totally awesome. There's a combo where you can make this card using two dropsies. At the end of the deck profile I will show you some basic combos so if you want to see how to do that stay tuned. Then for the rank 4th I play one Dugaris and one Dweller. Dugaris is more for going second because it can double a monster's attack which can help you OTK or it can also fix your hands by drawing two cards in discarding one and Dweller is mostly for going first if you open up parallel XC. And the last card in the extra deck is one Zeus. In this 
this deck it doesn't come up that much so if you don't own it it's not really necessary but it's nice to have that is it for the deck profile and now let's show you some combos so for this first combo you are going to need any pranked monster so i will just take roxy's for this example and also any random blank card but you're most likely going to have that anyway so you normal summon the pranked monster and then you link it away into your link one and then the pranked monster will trigger in this case roxy's will banish a card from the hand to draw another blank card and then it will special summon a fancies i like to get fancies out as soon as possible because it's a foolish burial for your branket cards you will see here in a second why that's so important so then you link these two into your doodle doodle do then you can activate your doodle do and your fancies fancies will foolish burial a branket pranks and special summon another branket monster from the deck in this case let's go for Lampsies and your doodle do will search you a pandemonium then you can activate the pandemonium use these two to make a rocket ride then Lampsies will trigger burning your opponent for 500 and special summoning the last ranked monster from the deck which is Dropsies then you can activate rocket ride tribute it and special summon back a doodle do and let's say a fancies then you can activate Doodle Do's effect to tribute itself and add back to your hand a Pandemonium and a Prank It's Pranks. Now you link these two into your Bow Wow Bark and then your Dropsies will activate giving you 1000 life points and special summoning another Prank It's Monster from the deck. Right here you can pretty much summon whichever one you want except for Roxy's. So let's just go for another Lampsies and then you just set your Pandemonium and activate Pranks. And in the end phase, your Prank Kids Pranks will activate and you can shuffle back your Doodle Doo, your Rocket Ride and pretty much any of these guys. Let's say we just shuffle back a Lampsies. So we shuffle these guys back into the deck and we get an extra draw. And now during the opponent's turn, you can activate your Bow Wow Bark to tribute itself and add back the two names you don't have. So we need to add a Dropsies and a Fancies to your hand because to summon your Battle Butler, you specifically need Dropsies, Fancies and Lampsies. Roxies doesn't work. And then when you have this setup, you can just activate Pandemonium on the opponent's turn and fuse these three guys away and make a Battle Butler and then all three kids will activate, special summon three more kids from the deck, and then you have a quick play Raigeki on the field, which is pretty good for a one card combo. And now I'm going to show you the totally awesome combo. You will need any Prankids monster and a Polymerization, or this can also be a Pandemonium. So you normal summon the Prankid, like before, you link it off into the link one. Pansies will activate and send a Prankids prank to the graveyard, and special summon out a Dropsies. Then we can activate Poly slash Pandemonium to fuse these two into a Rocket Ride. Then we activate Dropsies to gain 1000 life points and special summon out a Lampsies. Next we activate Rocket Ride to tribute itself and revive these two back from the graveyard. And now we can use these two to Link Summon into our Doodle Doodle Doo. Then we activate Doodle Doo and the Lampsies. Lampsies will burn and special summon another Dropsies from the deck and Doodle Doo will give us a Pandemonium from deck to hand and then we can use our two Dropsies to XC summon a Totally Awesome and now we can activate our Doodle Doo to tribute itself and give us back the Fancies and the Lampsies and then we set Pandemonium and pass turn and during their turn you can activate Totally Awesome to negate anything you want and then when Toad sent to the graveyard you can activate its effect to give you back a Dropsies and now you can activate the Pandemonium, use these three and make a Battle Butler. That is it for my deck profile, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below what decks you guys would like to see next and also what changes you guys would make to this decklist. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and I hope to see you soon.